Hello, I'm Youssef and this is Bugface, where the world's weirdest creepy crawlies prowl and frolic across your favourite faces. This is today's crucial creature. She's ready to give a frightening facial to Luke Franks. A fine 20 something specimen of the human race. Luke is a TV, radio and online presenter and lifestyle influencer. He's also an experienced live host, working with some of the biggest pop acts on the planet. Let's see if his face is a good live host when we pop a bug on his mug. <laughs> Meet Telodinopus IoT, or as we know them, Tilly and Telly. They are giant African olive millipedes, and millipedes are the oldest known air-breathing land animal. Millipede comes from the Latin mille, meaning thousand, and pedibus, meaning feet. Let's see if Luke feels all of Tilly and Telly's feet on his face. Luke, welcome to our special Bug Snug. Thanks, Yusef. It's very nice. Like what you've done with the place. Thank you. Um, this is stressing me out, but apart from that, it's lovely. <laughs> Are there any bugs in particular that you really want to avoid having on your face? Yeah, anything with the shell, I don't like. I don't trust it. What's it up to? What's it hiding? You ready? Um, yeah, I think so. Okay, Luke, it is time to meet Tilly and Telly. Two of them. Oh! Okay, hello Tilly and Telly. All oh, the legs. I think more legs equals worse. I mean, they look like all right there in their natural habitat, but my face is not their natural habitat. So Tilly and Telly are giant African olive millipedes. Telodinopus iot. They're like the worst because they're like bugs with legs and they're like a worm. So they're everything. They're like all the worst things together. No offense, guys. On that note, I actually have to tell you a few safety precautions. Brilliant. Um, so first of all, they can release a repugnant fluid on your face if you do freak them out or threaten them in any way. Same, to be honest, so... Okay, yeah. we'll try not to do that. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and secondly, uh, they can also possibly uh, excrete on your face. So right. that could either be wet or solid poop. So they can literally poop on my face? Literally anywhere on your face. Great, so having them on my face wasn't enough, they might excrement on it. We are all rooting for you, Luke. But we do have to get you to sign this, I'm afraid. Right. Just in case <laughs> anything does go wrong, it just covers us, basically. It's not going to lay eggs in my ears or anything weird, is it? Not in your ears. It, it might go up your nose. Brilliant. I'm not ready for kids, guys, so don't do that, please. It's time to put the bugs on your mug and let nature take its course. Uh. So we've got some facts for you on the screen above you and you need to read them nice and slow and clearly and the moment you get through them all, Tilly and Telly can come off your face and you get to win your very own legendary BBC Earth Kids Bug Face Mug. How's that sound? Uh, yeah, I'm pleased about the mug, less pleased about Tilly and Telly. Let's infest your face. Oh my days, whoa! <laughs> oh, their legs are so weird, aren't they? Oh, oh my, oh, oh, they're like kind of spiky. <laughs> okay, can we have the first fact, please? Uh, these big beasts, oh, it's going towards me, are a Telodinopus iota, of course, you knew it, so did I. Uh, oh, or the giant African olive millipede. It's like they're scratching at my face. Um, I don't think they've done any poops on me, but I couldn't be sure. Oh, they go and just join my eyebrows. <laughs> Have fun, guys. That's it, Luke. Keep going. Uh, Telodinopus iot is native to Ghana and, and Tongo, sorry, in West Africa. Um, Tilly and Telly live in the savannah. Oh. Okay, keep going. Keep going. Whoa. It's like I've got a little beard. Oh, they go down the top. Um, this breed of millipede, Telodinopus iot, is one of the few millipedes with legs ringed in brown and white. They've got enough of them. Uh, most of her cousin's legs are one colour. Fancy. Oh. Okay, can you give us the next fact, please, Luke? Oh, um, oh man, is going towards my eyes. Hello. <laughs> it's like, you know, when you get shivers down your spine, it's that feeling. Oh. Millipedes use every part of their body to smell and taste around them. Um, where are you going? Oh. Um, oh. It's making me shiver. Oh, don't investigate the nose, girls, please. If I stress them out, is that when they might... If you threaten them, they might poo on your face. Okay, um, let's just chill out. 
you will get super zen. Okay, can we have fact number five now, please, Luke? Millipedes are very clean creatures. That is good news. Um, and spend a lot of their time cleaning and polishing various parts of their bodies. Where are you both going? <laughs> <laughs> That's it, Luke. Keep going. And don't forget what's at stake here. Um, is it the legendary BBC Earth Kids bug face mug? <laughs> it is indeed the legendary BBC Earth Kids bug face mug. What are the chances of them laying eggs in my hair? It is about 50-50. Good, good odds. Oh, goodness me. Um, they may not be giant yet, but these millipedes, I mean, they feel quite big. Telodinopus iot. Why do I keep, need to keep saying that? It can grow to about 19 centimeters. Uh, oh. <laughs> what, what are you up to? Oh. Away from the nose and the, and the eyes. They're not very chilled out, are they? Uh, millipedes date, date back to the prehistoric times when the largest fossil recorded was up to 2.5 meters long. Still around now though, aren't they? Oh. Oh. Next fact, hatchlings. I don't want to know about hatchlings that start with three pairs of legs and add segments and legs as they molt and grow. Telodinopus iote likes to live in large colonies in the wilds. Oh, what is investigating my ear? Can we have the last fact now, please, Luke? Absolutely. Uh, can you just pop your leg, move your legs? Uh, yep, there we go. Uh, Telodinopus IOT can ooze. Telodinopus IOT. Telodinopus IOT can ooze out chemicals on his sides down his body as a defense to deter any predators. Ooh. Right, can you get him off now, please? Oh, get it off, get it off. Okay. <laughs> so, how was that experience for you? Uh, yeah, it was interesting. Um, they yeah, were running all over my face, weren't they? They were, yeah. I feel like they had a good time. Definitely. <laughs> Definitely did. And uh, what was the worst part? The worst part, um, probably when they sort of joined down the side of my face to form a weird beard. How would you describe the sensation of having one of these millipedes on your face? It was a little bit like loads of tiny pins, like constantly poking you in the face. Um, but it was kind of nice. I feel like it could be an expensive like spa treatment. Definitely, I, I could see that happening. Yeah. What surprised you the most about Telly and Tilly? I think how energetic they were. I thought they'd sort of freeze and be scared, but they were just exploring, getting involved with the eyebrows, working the nose. So you are a style influencer. Uh-huh. So what do you think would be a good look on Telly and Tilly? I feel like maybe an oversized kind of t-shirt, but you'd need a lot of obviously armholes. I think, I don't know how many, maybe a hundred. Telly and Tilly, congratulations on making it through Bugface and exploring Luke's mush. And Luke, you did amazingly, and that means you get to win your very own legendary BBC Earth Kids bug face mug. Thanks, mate. Um, no worries. What a great day. Cheers. Don't forget you can see all our bug faces plus loads more on the BBC Earth Kids channel. And we'll see you on the next bug face. Thanks for watching. <laughs>